Hi everybody! Um, I realized last time when I filmed I didn't introduce myself. My name is Rachel and I like to play with makeup, have fun with makeup, and I wanted to share what I know and what I love with everybody else. So last video I filmed, I had a request from one of you guys about what's in my makeup bag. I took that as what's in my travel makeup bag. If I'm going somewhere, what do I pack with me that I know I'm gonna use the bare minimum of products. I don't wanna bring a whole bunch of things, so I wanna kinda of cut it down to one or two things per category. I know a lot of us aren't traveling right now. Actually, I did just get back from Nashville with my boyfriend. We went on a road trip there because he had to go for work. So I came along just because I'm obsessed with him and I can't spend a night away from him. I actually have the bag that I packed to go to Nashville last last week. So I'm gonna go through what's in here. These are products that I can count on. I don't bring things that I'm not sure if they're gonna work or how they're gonna look. I bring things that I know I like and that work. First of all, let me start with my actual makeup bag. So this makeup bag, I love. I've had this for a couple of years now and I got it from Amazon and it's pretty heavy duty. The thing I love about this is A, it fits a lot of products and B, it's a hard case. So I don't really like soft cases because I'm worried about if they're moving around in my luggage or my bag that, you know, things are getting squished or things are, caps are popping off and everything's spraying everywhere. So this one, I know my things are packed tight in here that they're not gonna move around. So when I open it up, hoping this isn't gonna spill everywhere, up top there's a couple of zipper compartments and inside there's a whole bunch of makeup. So excuse how dirty it is cause it's gross and I need to clean it, I know. So up top, you open it up, oh it's so dirty. And you can put like pencils and everything up top. There's a zipper pouch on the side where you can keep stuff in here. And then in the main, case part i can put all my stuff there's a divider here and actually this came with several other like small dividers so you could divide it up even more if you wanted but i clearly i lost those and i have no clue for the life of me where they went so anyway this is fine it works for me okay so i'll start with the complexion first so typically when i wear makeup i don't really like to wear primers i just prime my skin by wearing a moisturizer but there is one primer that I absolutely love. I really feel like it helps the longevity of my makeup and it's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So this is, a, like it said, it's a hydrating gripping primer. So it's kind of a sticky base. You might not like that if you're weird about textures, but it helps my foundation adhere to my face. So I really only wear this if I'm wearing foundation. Um, and I do really like it, so. That's something I bring with me. For foundations, I have two. So I usually bring two if I go somewhere just because I want choices. The first one is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It's absolutely one of my top three favorite foundations of all time. It gives me a medium coverage, which is what I prefer. I don't like something that's too high coverage because it looks cakey, unless I'm dancing. Uh, I teach ballroom dancing if you didn't know that. So if I'm doing a competition or a show, I love full coverage, but for everyday wear, I really don't like full coverage. So medium coverage for me is great. Um, this makes your skin look like your skin, but better. That's why it's called your skin, but better. Duh. And I use the color medium. I think for me, when I'm tan, it's a pretty good match for me. So my next foundation, I mixed with this. By the way, everything I'm mentioning, I'm wearing most of these products on my face today. So you could see what it all looks like. So I mixed it with the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation. This is from the drugstore. It's very affordable. And they have a million shades in this. So if you feel like you have a hard time finding your shade, I would check out this line, the Fit Me line. This is the Dewy and Smooth. I also have the Matte and Poreless. So Dewy and Matte. So I've mixed both of these on my face today. The combination of these works for my skin tone right now. Two must haves for me if you watched my last video for my under eye concealer. I use the uh, Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in light to medium. 
first as a base for my concealer and then I add the Tarte Shape Tape in light beige over it. So I really like this combination. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I have another video where I did go deep into it and I'm actually gonna link that down in the description box. If you didn't see that video, you can check it out. Okay, next up for setting powder. I like to bring something that's universal. I can set my under eyes, I can set the rest of my face if I need to. My favorite product for that is the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This powder is unbelievable. It really, like it says soft focus, it really just blurs everything. I love that. And I also love that it doesn't alter the color of my concealer or my foundation when I put it on. So um, it is a little bit more of an expensive product, but I find that it's really worth it. For bronzer, this has been a go-to bronzer of mine for years. I find right now when I'm fair, this is one of my favorite, favorite shades of bronzer. It's the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I love this because it's like a neutral color. It's not orange. It's not too ashy. They do make other colors. They didn't used to actually. They used to only really make, I think one, this was the only color. This is the original color, by the way. It's called bronzer. It's just called bronzer. But they have like a deep bronzer. They have different shades now, so you can choose what shade works for you based on your complexion. Also, it smells really good. Okay, so next up for highlighter. I've got a lot of highlighters. When I'm traveling, I try to bring something that I can either build up or I can wear sheer so I can get different amounts of luminosity to my skin. So for me, that is the Lorac Gilded Lily Light Source Mega Beam Highlighter. This is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. It's like a rose gold color. It's not glittery because I have a lot of texture on my cheekbones and in my cheeks in general. So if something's too glitterly, glitter, glitterly, hmm. if something's too glittery, it enhances that texture and makes it look more pronounced. I can just wear one layer. I basically, no, I wore a couple of layers today. I don't know if you can even tell the lights are so bright, but you can build it up or you can wear it more sheer. For blush, I like to bring something that's pretty neutral that I can match with a bunch of different looks. So that for me is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Harmony. This is a beautiful blush and it's, it's a neutral pink. The thing I love about these blushes is A, they last a really long time on your face. B, you will never run out of product. This is a mini and I've had this for years. And also I love it because you can't go overboard with it. It's very, very sheer. So you can build it up, which I love. Some blushes you dip into it and you put it on your cheek and it's like clown automatically. So. This is something you can build. They are pricey, but again, you buy one, you'll never have to buy another one ever again. Last complexion product before we get to the eyes and the lips is setting spray. So I always bring like a travel size setting spray. I have a large one of this as well for here. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is like a, a classic setting spray that's been around. I really do feel like when I spray it, it melds all my powders so it looks seamless on my face and it also extends the life of my makeup. This is the summer solstice one. So it's the one from the summer and it smells like coconuts. It's unreal. So, 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 actually I want some. It kind of smells like suntan lotion, but in a good way. Now I'm gonna go on to eyes, eye products. I usually use an eyeshadow primer. There are several different types you can use. You can just use your concealer if you want, or they have tinted shadow primers. But I actually prefer a translucent one just because my eyes aren't as young as they were. I'm 34, which is not, it's not old, but it's not young either. So I feel like when I use something that has too much of a tint to it, it kind of cakes up on my eyes and enhances any dry spots. So I feel like a translucent base works just fine for me. This one's really gross. It's really old. Sorry, it's got stuff all over it. But this is the Morphe Eyelid Primer. 
just translucent eye primer, just something to put on underneath your eyeshadows so that they uh, last longer and they don't crease. Okay, this is something that is new. I've only used it a couple of times. I brought it on my trip because I wanted to try it out. It's the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful, like so beautiful. When I'm traveling, I try to, to bring a palette that has a few things. I like when it has a mirror because I can just use that mirror to put on my makeup if I'm in a place that doesn't really have a mirror with good lighting. I also love to bring a palette that has a combination of like dark tones and light tones. So if I just want to be like daytime, just one shadow and be done with it, that's great. But it also has these like deeper matte shadows so that I can darken up the look if you know we're going out to dinner or something and it's nighttime and I want a darker look. The one thing though I was surprised about this palette are the metallics. They're like when you touch them, they're almost wet. Almost like cream shadows. They're not, but they feel like cream shadows. So far, I've only used it a couple. I used it today on my eyes. Um, I used it yesterday and I used it when I was on my trip. So I've used it maybe three or four times now. And it's it's just absolutely beautiful. It is on the pricier side. I think it's like 42 or $45. But for me, like I can create so many looks with this one palette. I don't have to dip into other things. So for my eyelashes, I don't have the greatest lashes. I have a lot of lashes on my top, top lashes, but they grow straight down. So I have a hard time keeping a curl. So for me, this is the best set of products that I've found that work for me. So first of all, I have an eyelash curler with me. Then I have a eyeshadow primer. And I've used a few, but this one by far is my favorite. I really think that when you put this on underneath your mascara, it thickens your lashes and helps keep a curl. So I curl my lashes and then I put on this Marc Jacobs Prime Velvet Primer and it comes out like a cream color. I coat my lashes and I let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute just so it can start to get a little dry. And then I go over with my mascara. One of my favorite mascaras is the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. And it's called Lift Scara because it really does lift and curl your lashes. And for me, like I said, that is my main concern. These three, these three things really do it for me. So I love that. And then for my lower lashes, I actually have a fourth product. So for my lower lashes, it's actually quite the opposite. I don't have really many, I have like, three lower lashes on each eye. So I need something that like gets in there and defines each of those few lashes, maybe adds a couple extra lashes. So I put on the primer on my lower lashes and then I put on the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. So there you go, extensions. It really creates more of an extension. It lengthens them. It, it has a pretty small, brush on it so really you can get in on every single little lash when I first bought this it's very expensive so I bought this because a lot of people were talking about how they loved it it's a tubing mascara so that means when you wash it off you just add warm water and it comes off in little tubes it's it's really weird and it's kind of scary it looks like your eyelashes are falling out in the sink it really doesn't make a mess like it doesn't smudge around your eyes so a lot of people were talking about that and i was like amazing but like i said i want more of a curl and this really was not holding my curl at all and this is really expensive so i was kind of mad when i bought it i was like great <laughs> i just spent all this money on this mascara that i hate then i tried it on my lower lashes and then i was like awesome first of all i can get use out of this and second of all it works perfect for what i'm looking for so I suggest that if you've got pretty sparse lower lashes, this combination is really great. Okay, now for false lashes. I, I like to wear false lashes. I think that they really, really make an eye look stand out and they also hide any mistakes. Like if, you're, if you've made a mistake on your eyeshadow or you haven't blended so well, if you throw a pair of lashes on, it really, it makes it look so much better. So I have two different types of lashes and if I'm going out at night, I like to wear a traditional strip lash, which is 
you know, the lash that's all on one strip. These are my absolute favorites. These are from Flutter Lashes. You can only buy them online on their website. And this is the style Lovable. So I, I find that these are really fluffy, really wispy. They're wearable, dramatic lashes, and they're not heavy on my lid. But if I'm looking for something not so dramatic and say it's daytime, I personally wouldn't wear these, but I use individual lashes and I'm actually wearing individual lashes today. Um, I know it's kind of bright. Let me turn down the light. I don't know if you can see my lashes. I'm wearing the individual lashes and the ones that work the best for me that I love are these Kiss Look So Natural Trio Lash. So the thing about individual lashes is they're way easier to apply than a strip lash. Cause a strip lash, you have to get it just right. The inner corner might pop up. It might start to, you know, it's really, it is really hard to get it to sit right and stay. So individual lashes, you don't have to do that, but it is more time consuming because you have to put on each individual lash. Now, the thing I like about this is it's a trio lash. So it has three individuals grouped together. So each time you put it on, you're basically putting three on at a time, which is much more time efficient because the ones that are just single ones, those take forever. They do. But these trio ones I love. Now, the only place I've been able to find these is in store at Walgreens. If I do find them online, I'll put them down below. The lash glue that I use, this is the duo brush on adhesive with the vitamins. It's the one with the green writing on it and it's the brush on. So I like this way, way better than the squeezy tube. I feel like I can control it better. And um, I can I can do a video on applying lashes if, if that's something you guys are interested in. I've had a lot of practice with it from dance competitions. So for me, it's pretty easy nowadays, but I know a lot of people, a lot of my students have questions about applying false lashes. So I can definitely do a video on that. If you guys are interested, let me know. Last eye product is eyeliner. So usually when I travel, I bring a liquid eyeliner and I bring a couple of pencil liners. So for my liquid eyeliner, this is the only liquid liner that I use. I've tried other ones. Nothing compares to this one. I always go back to this one. It's the tattoo liner from KVD Vegan Beauty in the shade Trooper Black. This eyeliner is the best eyeliner. It lasts all day, it's really easy to apply, and it's really black and it's matte. And one tube of this lasts forever. And then I usually bring a black and a brown pencil liner. So this is, the black one I have is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. It is just a black pencil. It's pretty, it's actually very creamy, almost to the point that it transfers. So I don't love that, but it is very creamy and I wear it just usually in my waterline. And then the brown eyeliner that I have is one of my favorites. It's from LA Girl, which is from the drugstore. And it's the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade brown. Well, imagine that. Um, next up for eyebrows. I usually bring an eyebrow pencil and a brow gel. So I've got a few different eyebrow pencils. I've got some that are more expensive. I've got some that are cheaper from the drugstore, but this one is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5. This brow pencil is actually absolutely wonderful. I prefer a brow pencil that's got kind of a tiny, tiny tip on it. Um, I just find that I can have more control over where I'm drawing the lines and I can add kind of more hair like strokes when I use this. So I, I love this. And then for brow gel, if I just want to bring like a clear brow gel, this is my absolute favorite of all time. I've tried other ones. I haven't found something I like more than this. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. This is great. Um, it's got a pretty big brush tip on it. For me, I don't care because I've got thicker brows. So it's easy for me to just, you know, comb it through. But this stuff, you put this in, your brows aren't moving for the entire day. For uh, what I'm wearing on my lips today, I basically got, I've got three products. I'm wearing two of them on my lips. So this is my absolute favorite lip liner for like a nude lip 
for my skin tone, it's a my lips but better shade. It's beautiful. It's creamy, but not so creamy that it moves around too much. It stays in place. It's the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. I love this. I think it's beautiful. The shade's great. And if you're my skin tone, it's a great shade for nude. They also have BFF2, BFF3, BFF4, so they have darker shades. On top of this, I'm wearing my favorite. See, these are like my favorite products. This is the, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This one's really gross, but I have another backup that I'll show you on the close up because this one's, I've had it for a long time. It's absolutely the most beautiful shade. It makes your lips look juicy. It makes your lips look full. It, it's not sticky. It, it's glidey. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely, it's the, it's my favorite lip gloss of all time. You got to get it. If you don't have it, you got to get it. Like I said, too, it is a little pricey, but it lasts forever. This tube, I've had this tube. I actually don't want to tell you how long I've had it because that's, that's how gross it, it is. But it's amazing. I love it. You got to get it. That's it. In fact, I keep it in my purse. I don't even keep it in my makeup bag. I keep it in my purse. It just goes over any lip liner. It goes over any, li any lipstick. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'll shut up. You get it. I'm wearing these two together. The, the, just the lip liner. I filled, uh, sorry, I lined my lips and I filled in my lips with this lip liner and then I topped it with the gloss. Now, if I'm going out to eat or I'm going to be somewhere where I'm drinking or eating or smooching or something, I usually don't like to wear a gloss. So I, I wear either a matte liquid lip or like a, a traditional lipstick that's going to stay in place. So this brand and this line is uh, the Tartus lip paint from the brand Tarte. I actually really, really like these liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks that dry down matte, they can be drying. Like you can feel like your lips are dry or crusty. For me, that doesn't really happen to me. Now, again, I live in a humid climate and I think that has something to do with it. Like I don't ever feel like my lips get dry unless I'm somewhere where it's dry. So if you're somewhere where it's dry and you get chapped lips, I probably would avoid something like this. I would stick more to a gloss or like a lipstick that has some kind of moisturization to it. And this is the shade Low Key, which is a great nude color for me. Okay, lastly, we're down to the end here. Thank you for sticking around if you're still here. Thank you. I included some brushes, like it, again, the bare bones, if I'm gonna travel and I'm not trying to bring a million brushes with me, these are the brushes and the tools I bring. So I've got this little kit from a Sephora. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I'll try to find something similar. I feel like this kit, this eye brush kit is perfect. It's got like one of everything I need. It has like a big fluffy blending brush, a smaller blending brush, a flat brush, an angled brush, and then a pencil brush. And it comes in this little, little case, which is really convenient. And I just slide it in that zippered pouch that was at the top of the case. For my face brushes, I bring only just a few. So I have a bronzer brush. So this is like a domed bronzer brush. I have kind of a small face. So anything that's too big, I feel like it just gets all over my face. So I like something that's a little bit more tapered that I have more control over where I'm putting it. Again, I don't know if they sell this exact brush anymore. It was from Benefit. I got it a, quite a long time ago, but if, if I don't find it, I'll put something else that's similar down below. Then I have a blush brush. Now I've got several blush, bl blush brushes. Ooh, I probably just put blush on my forehead. Um, this one is more of a dense angled brush. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. They're a, like a small indie brand from here in Florida and it's dense. So for the blush that I brought, which was the Tarte blush, which I told you it's not so pigmented. So something that's more dense works really well with this. Um, if this was super pigmented and I used this dense brush, it would disperse more product at once. So the fluffier the brush, the less product dispersed, the denser the brush and tightly packed the, the bristles are, the more pigment that's gonna be distributed where you place it. So 
that was just a really long explanation of why I brought this angled brush. It's beautiful for, for a sheer blush. Then I brought a brush for my highlighter. So this is the Real Techniques setting brush. It's called a setting brush, but I think for, um, for highlight, it works really well and it's small. So I'm able to just kind of pinpoint where I want to apply the highlight. So for me, this works great. It's from the drugstore, pretty affordable. And then I also bring a makeup sponge. So again, it's dirty cause I just, I just did my makeup for this video. So this is from elf. It's from this one in particular was in like a set, a limited edition set, but they sell this sponge in a different color. It's more like a purple, like magenta, pink, purple kind of color. But this is my favorite drugstore sponge. It's super squishy, super soft, and it's got a flat edge. I can put my foundation, usually I put my foundation on with this and then I use the tip for my concealer and my setting my powder and setting my face. So I love this from e.l.f. Um, and it works great for me. Last couple of little things that I have in my bag. Whenever I go to a hotel, some hotels give you makeup remover wipes. I don't actually ever remove my makeup with makeup remover wipes. I feel like it's too harsh on my skin and I don't like tugging and stuff, but I do use it like if I'm using my hand for stuff, I can just use that to just take it off or just any kind of emergency situation. I'd like to have one of these. So I just took this from a hotel room from ages ago. And then I also always have a pair of tweezers because when I put on my individual lashes, you need tweezers. And obviously if you want to pluck your eyebrows or you need anything else. And then I also bring a uh, pencil sharpener for my lip liners and my pencil eyeliners. So I always have one of those on hand. Okay, I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, everything I mentioned, I will put in the description box down below if you're interested in, in looking at checking any of these out they'll be down in the description box below. And let me know in the comments if you guys have any, uh, any products that are your go-tos that you put in your makeup bag that you, you know, if we're not going anywhere, but if we were, what is something that you need with you that you just have to bring with you? I'd love to know, I'd love to know. In the meantime, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving and I will see you guys next time. Bye.